Okay, guys, what's up, everybody? Uh, what's up, Collectiverse? I am here with Dan from Kotobukiya, who's going to give us a quick uh, tour of the Kotobukiya uh, booth in New York Toy Fair. So, hi, what's going on, uh, uh, Dan? It's great. Uh, this is our second day here at the Javits Center, and just a lot of interest. Uh, and we've got some great announcements, brand new announcements that I want to go over quickly. So why don't we just jump right into uh, the tour of the booth? All right, cool. Thanks, Dan. So we've got our marble tower here. Uh, these are some of our artifacts and Artifacts Plus uh, statues. Uh, just to give everyone a basic overview, Artifacts is one six scale. Artifacts Plus is one tenth scale. Okay. Um, so we're looking at two Spider-Men here. These are from our Artifacts collection. One is a comic book Spider-Man based off of the artwork of uh, Todd McFarlane. Uh, what's unique about this piece is actually the base is resin, because usually our artifacts are all PVC or ABS plastic. Yes. This base is resin, but the Spider-Man himself is uh, uh, PVC, ABS plastic. And then the wire there, that's that's actually, his webbing is wire, so you can bend that and position oh my that gosh, that how is you'd a... like. Yeah. And it's a, since it's resin, it's, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. And I think that's probably one of the reasons uh, uh, they decided to go with resin for the base is to really anchor it down and give it some weight uh, Also because of the size of it uh, yeah. Tooling for resin tends to be a little more uh, price effective. Yeah, uh, and the dynamic pose. Oh, is yeah. amazing it's, And it it's, really you can the, the, it, as you change the webbing from straight forward to up it changes really the, the feeling of